Why do you care what people think about you anyways? I'm working and making my morning coffee here. But no, really, if you think about it, why do you care what other people... Can you control what other people think? Do you even know what other people are thinking right now? No, you don't. Any story that you're telling yourself about what's going on in other people's head is just that. It's a story that you're telling yourself. So the secret is, it doesn't matter what anybody else is thinking. So, to answer the opening question of the video, why do you care what other people think? Because you're looking for validation from external sources rather than yourself. When you learn how to validate your identity through self, and not have to need anybody else's opinion telling you that you did good to feel good about yourself, when you learn how to feel good about yourself right now, and I'm not saying you have to be perfect to do that, it can happen. Right now, you just have to realize it's not what anybody else says, it's what you believe about. Think about it. If somebody you don't know says something about you, it probably carries less weight than somebody who does know you. You know who knows you the best? Yourself. You know whose opinion is most important? Yours. So you really shouldn't care what anybody else thinks of it. You should just, like, go this cute little coffee grinder from uh, Mason Joy Lifestyle. I will maybe even tag them in this video if I can. Anyway, it's really nice to grind them coffee. I'm going to get the kettle going. But that's, that's something I've struggled with myself is, um, for a long portion of my time here, I defined my identity by what other people thought of me. You've got to write the character and then project it out, because if you wait for the world to tell you who you are and then you constantly adjust and manipulate your own percept perception of identity to suit the needs of whatever it is out there, you're never ever going to be happy. You're always going to feel happy. You got to just decide to be and live your life for you. That's all you can do. You can't control anyone or anything. Here's the other thing. People aren't even really thinking about it. People are thinking about their own teeter, shoddily constructed self-identity and how it's being manipulated by their perception of the world perceiving them. Well, nobody's really perceiving anybody. We're all just worried about how we're all appearing to everybody else. And they'll be, it's like, well, what the fuck? This is crazy talk. So, just be you for you and you will naturally attract the kind of people that are the kind of people you want to have around. The kind of people that resonate with you. You can't go out and change the world if you haven't first changed yourself. Oh. Also, problem solving with geometry. This is like a number four, I'm not gonna make this over, number four filter. And this is a V60 portal group. That has a flat bottom, and this does not. But, if you know, send it to you about how to do. And this comes from my time as an engineer back working on the paper airplanes. <laughs> well, look, if you, if you fold it that way, and then you fold it that way, and then I like to crease it in the middle. You can open it up, and boom! Now, technically, it's more of a square, but it will turn into a circle as it molds to that, which is another thing. Lines and points aren't really things. Everything is like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny wimey consciousness stuff, to kind of quote, meta quote Dr. Who a book. But this idea that there's a fixed number of dimensions, oh, there's three dimensions, and we're going to the fifth dimension, there's 27 dimensions in quantum string theory, and we all need all these numbers and lines and boxes, all of that doesn't really exist in the real world because the real world is an ever-progressing dynamic system. It doesn't freeze in a snapshot. So, what made me think of that is just the fact that this is it's a square, but then if you fold it in each of the sides, it gets closer. And eventually, with more and more segments, you get closer and closer to infinity. Because that's all that the material world is, is the infinite nature of God divided into finite quantized moments, experiences, little bits of whatever we want to call it because the, the mind is what renders the universe 
not the mind specifically, because mind conjures ideas of the voice in your head. You're not the voice in your head, you're not your body, and you're not your identity either. You're the watcher, the consciousness, the spark of divinity behind it. The experience of being a self and having a perspective. That's what you are. That's what makes the universe happen. I suppose this is like a vlog kind of video. I don't know exactly what I'm going to call it. Probably morning coffee thoughts. Try and make more. I'm not trying. I'm doing. Doing to me doesn't make grammatical sense. I am making more longer form and fun content because I haven't been doing as much of that. His life has been crazy. Right? It's always crazy. So I've just got to go do it, and I'm doing. It. You see, I've got to grind more coffee. Yes, it does take a bit more work and time to make coffee this way. But I would say two things. It's a meditative practice doing it, and it's good for the mind and the body and the soul. And also, the coffee definitely tastes better when you do this. Not just because you put more work in, but if you grind the beans fresh, you're getting a fresher coffee, and you're getting a better grind with a burr grinder instead of a blade grinder, because it's going to be all kinds of inconsistent parts. And then I've got a little gooseneck kettle set to 80, it should be 88 degrees. Is where I, where I have been brewing lately, which is a little bit cooler than where most people brew it, but it's a personal preference thing. That's the other thing. There's no wrong way to live life and no wrong way to make coffee. You're not failing by missing the... There is no main objective in this life. It's not like a video game where you have a list of things you have to go do. Uh, the society, the material world, would like you to think that it's, oh, go to school, get a job, get a good degree, go have kids, get a house, retire, live, die, all that shit. None of it matters. Nothing ever matters. The only thing that matters is that which you decide matters. That can only matter if it matters to you. Matter's not even really a thing. It's all energy anyways. Time really isn't a thing either. It sort of kind of is, but only as a narrative device to explain experiences. It's so funny that we say that some things are real and some things are not real. What is real? If it means you can touch it, I don't think Wi-Fi is real. And if you want to get really bougie, You'll use a scale and you weigh how much, how much coffee you're putting in. And oh, people even weigh how much coffee you're getting out. And you can also uh, wet the filter and do, there's, there's an infinite number of steps. That's the other thing. It's like, I would say that making coffee like this is better than making coffee. Just putting the folders in a drip machine and pushing the button. But there's a bunch more things I could do to the process which I'm using to make coffee. It would make it even more better. But really, the best coffee is the one, the coffee that you enjoy. So there is no better. Folgers in drip, if that's what you like, that's fine. Everything is about personal subjective experience. The meaning of life is in every single individual moment as you live it. getting quite a bit longer so also you should definitely follow me on YouTube if that's not where you're already watching this video right now because longer videos I can put I can make YouTube videos as long as I want not restricted by length not really trying to be a TikToker anymore not really trying to define myself by anybody's platform I'm a, a vibe just living life but using YouTube more as the primary location for my content distribution until I get my own website fully up and running in the 2.0 version. Not to say that I'm leaving TikTok. I'm going to be putting out as much quality content as I can in a wide variety of formats on a wide variety of platforms, including obviously the one that you're on right now. But uh, there is a link tree somewhere and it's Mary Doctor. And if you go there, you can find all my other stuff.
whatever it is you're looking for. The secrets of the universe. See those little bubbles on the nearly two-dimensional surface of those bubbles? The light scattering is from the quantum wave effects and the redistribution of different wavelengths of light and you could zoom all the way into there and it'd be like a whole ass universe. Everything is a fractal. And I am a pterodactyl. You can be weird, that's okay. You don't gotta comply to no normality anyway. Just enjoy the coffee every day. Even if you're gay, straight. It don't matter, you don't wait to make your destiny come to life you see it's really easy that's why there's me merity to show you how interesting life can be and to drink coffee anyways quite delightful. Coffee. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. This is um, my new little set here for live streaming and such. We got total. Anyways, see you in the next one.